Can I just say that you've uh, been on the road for, what, five months now? Five years. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, this last sort of stretch has been five months. You're still looking very healthy and relaxed and <laughs> tanned. I'm made, made up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but even for the radio show. I know. Even, even with the makeup, I mean, you're looking good. I would have thought you'd have been shattered by now. <laughs> We'll lift the curtain and uh, we'll had, Lord. we've had a, a break actually we just came back from holiday uh -huh. hence the tan um i went up with cloudberries and uh, reindeers and i'm not joking really yeah uh, well how's in norway in norway yes you yeah. don't find them that have you all been in norway <coughs> no i i went to france and uh paul's been over uh, over the old pond over the howdy we picked each compliment so we can share <laughs> share experiences <laughs> just get away from each other yeah. basically Okay, well, we're going to do something uh, a little bit different today, because instead of me asking uh, sort of the usual questions and things like that, what we decided to do yesterday was open up the telephone lines and uh, get people to phone in with their questions for you. Uh, and also you've chosen... I threw in a couple of super there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're, you're, you're Boris from Bradford, are you? <laughs> I was wondering who that was. And uh, also you've chosen some of your favourite records as well, so we'll post some of those. Um, so thanks to everybody who did phone in with questions. Um, let's, let's, uh, let's start off with something which is a bit topical. We've just been talking about uh, touring. Uh, Vicky Mosley from Leeds wants to know, what are the worst and best things about touring? Whew. I think the guitar solos are the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the vocal is the worst. The worst. <laughs> <laughs> what about the keyboard? Oh, they're pretty uh, stable. Daft, daft in the middle. <laughs> the, the, the things that are the best are also the worst when you get too much of it, I think. Mm -hmm. Touring is a is a you know, it's a it's a strong sort of mm. you experience just and and, and uh, but but it reaches a point you have to pace it right. <coughs> yeah, I think what <coughs> personally negatively thinking now uh, the worst part is when you just you're part of a big machinery and you don't feel um, you can you can get sort of boxed in a little bit and um, you don't really feel you're in control of of what you want to do and you know you kind of get up in the morning you know when you go you know you're mm. moving on a bus with a lot of people yeah. to the next place you get out you get in a hotel you go to sound check you go to the show yeah, um, so, so really the, the, the highlight of the day is the actual show but all the work in between is just to get to that you know. yeah so the, so the <laughs> <laughs> Morton's trying to unplug Max's mic <laughs> <laughs> so well, the thing is you become part of your own mm. big machinery and yeah. you just you find yourself running off your own train yeah, so right, I'm pl unplugging. Okay, let's. Um, uh, jo Joanne Ellington in Scunthorpe has said, "When is the next concert in England?" Hello, hello. Am I in there? Yeah, you're back there. When, <coughs> when's the next uh, British concert? Yeah, we got some shows coming up in uh, beginning of December. Mm -hmm. So London, I mean. So we're doing all of England actually. Mo oh, most okay. of it. Yeah. 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 A few spread dates. But all the tickets are already given away to relatives and things, so it <laughs> won't be really... <laughs> so you, you're doing quite a few dates? Yes, quite, yeah. quite well, a few. There will be a few, yeah. But we're doing uh, London, London, London as well this time. Yeah. That's right. And uh, where, where are you off to next, Rory? Well, we've actually... Um, we were going to tour Europe mm. uh, this autumn, but uh, we decided to cut everything off because uh, we felt we needed to get back together, just the three of us, and write yeah. the songs for the new album and... We've been touring for so yeah, long now. Yeah, we yeah. Nice we've, <laughs> we've proven ourselves in a way when it comes to that, to, for ourselves and, and for So you, you're and just going to do Japan and then that's... So we're off. Then you're off. Somewhere to... And, and also, to, be, to come back fresh, you know, yeah. we, we, need, uh, we need to get new material, we feel we need to write and, <coughs> and, mm -hmm. and then we'll tour again. Okay, let's move away from touring now. Um, this question from Michelle Kent of Bradford, Helen from Walsall in the West Midlands, and Richard Masson from... Blue Garneau in France. Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's okay. an name to have in France. You get some wines. <laughs> <laughs> well done over there, I wouldn't think. You're going to like this question. Uh, what do you think of Bros? Oh, they're nice. I, we, I, I don't know. I, I've, I've met them. I mean, as persons, they're nice. You know. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know them that well because we, we're way behind when it comes to what, what's going on yeah. with the music scene. Way do you know much of their music? That, that's what I'm saying now. <coughs> no. Yeah. Well, we heard, heard the stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. <laughs> so, no, so, no, so, you know, they're, they're probably sort of... Uh, there is an equivalent there, because we went through some of the same sort of me media hysteria that they are doing now, yeah. uh, about three years ago, and uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> good luck to them, you know. But I, I don't feel qualified to really talk about their music, because I don't know it well enough. Yeah. Did you enjoy all the hysteria that, that uh, Bross are now getting that you had then? 
to a certain degree. Yes and no. I mean, it was quite funny, but it was also quite sort of, um, it was strange, you know. It was really it's embarrassing in a way. Funny yeah. enough, you know, if you feel it's just not, it's not you, you know, it's not, uh, <laughs> Yeah, we had no reason so to believe up. that it would happen to us, so it was kind of a strange phenomenon when it did. Uh. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, have some music now. Uh, Bruce Springsteen, One Step Up. Whose favourite is this? Well, <laughs> I'm afraid I didn't choose that one, <coughs> as yeah. I did win the other ones. Uh, I think, actually, yeah. I think I tried to choose, because we weren't together, but I tried to choose... I thought you chose that for Paul. Uh, mm. I did. I mean, I tried to... <laughs> Strong atmosphere track. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we all like all of these <laughs> records, that's why. I'm okay, here it comes. Bruce Springsteen from the album Tunnel of Love. That's uh, one step up, and it's one of our hard favorite records, who are my guests live on the program today, answering your question. It's nice, yeah. that, isn't it? That yeah. is nice, Rick. Mm. All right, some more questions. Uh, this one from Melissa from Hales Owen in Birmingham. Uh, are any of you getting married in the next year or so? Paul. Ooh. <laughs> why, why did you single out Paul there? Is why, why you, do you know something you do, that no, we don't? No, no, <laughs> it's you two big mouths have been doing all the talking, you see, and Paul's... Ah. Uh, we, we thought maybe his microphone had been unplugged by Morton, but it, it, it was actually there all the time. No, don't do it. <laughs> or it might... I don't know, it, it might happen, it'll be a shock, but it, there is definitely Next a risk year. there. Next year, no. there, there is a risk with you, Paul. Oh, yeah. Next year, right. no, I'd say. Morton, well, that so would be maybe. a real shock to me. <laughs> <laughs> Morton? Well, if Paul's going to get married next no, year? No, no, no. So. What about you? Or so. What about you? Is there a chance that you might get married next year? I don't think so. No. Max? No. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> That's all. Uh, Carol Fielding from Kettering uh, wants to know what do you think Fergie's baby should be called? Oh, dog. Oh, gosh. Dog. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's, that's terrible. No, it's a Norwegian. No, it's really. It's a it's good a Norwegian name. Old Norwegian name. Yeah. What is it? Mm. Dagrus. Dagrus. Bjarna. Bjorn. Bjarna. I haven't really thought about this. This is uh, <laughs> more or less. just throwing I mean, out. Well, if, if it was I've a. I've thinking about it for a long time. If it was a Norwegian royal baby, what would it likely to be called? Oh, they Dagrus. get really stupid names. <laughs> Like Paul, Paul and <laughs> yeah, like Paul and Morten and yeah. What's the most popular female name in Norway? Morten Dagrus. Dagrus yeah. is, is the most popular. What does it mean? It means what well, it means. Yeah. Get out Actually, of that one. Actually, they <laughs> they blessing or something like that. But it, they they've used it for for the house sort of household uh, cow. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, it really is a, it's a pet name, you know. We it's a good interruptive, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, we interrupt this program. Can I can I change can I change the subject very quickly? <laughs> no, is, yeah. Don't, don't yeah. get me wrong. <laughs> okay, Melanie, Mandy, and Vashti from Sutton Bridge in Spalding uh, asked, "Did you find that when you became famous, you lost all your old friends?" We didn't have any, so we had, we had nothing to lose. <laughs> we have we so lost many all our new good, great friends. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, the people that you grew up with, did you, did you find that their attitude changed towards you? And that you're not as friendly with I them now? I think they you went used? through a phase uh, which we also had to go through. And uh, let's just say they went through a phase. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we, we, I, no, I don't think so. we, We've all gone through phases, and, and, and they have had to, mm. to adopt too. You know. But have you lost friends as a, as a result of your fame? I don't think we I have. We bought a couple no. of new ones. <laughs> no. I, we, I, we could have made up friends now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know. It, it sort of narrows your your circle of friends. It becomes closer in a way, you know. It's more, or maybe fewer in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I think it actually intensifies yeah. the friendships that you did have beforehand yeah. because you then have a history pre aha if you like. Mm -hmm. And it makes it it makes you that much stronger. Yeah, yeah. I suppose the, the, the thing is, if, if they are your real friends, then they'll still be with you now, whatever. Yeah, plus then you're not really mags of a half to mm -hmm. them, then you're, you're... You're just mags. Just yeah. plain old mags. Plain old... <laughs> boring old mags. Plain old <laughs> mags. Donna, Donna from South Humberside says, uh, who is Donna mentioned in the uh, single touchy? Ooh, uh, oh, it's her, actually, yeah. It's her, it is her. She yeah. was wondering about that. Mm. Yeah, well, she, she should know that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we, <laughs> we have abused her name. <laughs> uh, who, who is Donna? Well, ask her. Well, didn't you hear, didn't you read the phone, stories about phone Paul? Didn't you read the stories about Paul and Ma Donna? We uh, didn't dare <laughs> write. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't write Ma Donna. There's a little M when Morton thinks that word. Donna. Tell us more, Paul. Oh, Tell yeah. us all. 
After the marriage, marriage uh, after the marriage plans, I shouldn't <laughs> say more about that. <laughs> so it's not her then. Will there be a compilation of AHA videos? Patricia Kern in Tamworth wants to know. Probably one. There'll be one on each cassette. <coughs> Probably, you know, one uh, uh, at one point in time there will be, but we yeah. haven't really planned. Because I mean, it's something that you put a lot of time and effort into you, your videos. Mm. I mean, they're, they're all pretty spectacular, aren't they? Mm. Do you actually think the ideas are yourselves? I was talking about it, but never really had time to sort of pursue the idea. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, this is a different question. You, uh, you were just in the last question, then, Martin. Oh, what was very that? good. Very mm. good. What I was your last? <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, do you ever think of any of the ideas of the uh, videos you sell? Oh, well, that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes Morton's not quite with us. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Thursday, Morton. Okay, it's Thursday. Earth oh, I, uh, I've only got your word for that. Uh -huh. Yeah, sometimes we do, but most of the time it's in collaboration with people, you know, because, uh, yeah, you, what, what, what happens usually is that you, you approach somebody who you would like to work with through his work, and, and you try to make him come up with some idea, giving him some indication of what you would like and wouldn't like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, another of your favourite records, this is one of my favourites as well. Yeah. Robbie Robertson and Indeed. Somewhere yeah. Down the Crazy yeah. River. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Valentine. Do that again, do that again. <laughs> you wouldn't have thought Paul's voice actually. He's not actually. Robbie Robertson and Somewhere Down the Crazy River. Another of our heart's favourite records. It really yeah. is brilliant, though, isn't it? We were so happy when that became a hit. You know, it took so yeah. long, you know. Yeah, it's well, been it, out for a while. Well, it was out uh, in Europe um, and it was never actually released in this country until just a few weeks ago. Right. And uh, now it's a hit here. You, you've actually met him, have you? You met him in the San Remo, which is a. <coughs> festival there. Yeah, what's he like? Very entertaining. He's just yeah. like his record actually, he's yeah. a storyteller and he yeah, really. tells some incredible stories. You just sit there and uh, mesmerise. Is, really. his is his voice actually that deep? Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. It's oh. <laughs> Gary. He's really down, most down to a Gary. nice guy we met, you know, in the business. Yeah. Okay, more questions. Sarah Wilson from Durham. How do you pronounce all your brothers and sisters' names? Oh my Okay. <laughs> Who should we start Very quickly. Okay, Lina, Trygve, Torstein. Yeah, Max, Amon. Håkon, Gunnvall, Ingen, Hi. <laughs> you could be saying anything. I only anything. got one. Tonya. Tonya. Oh, that's easy. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's all pretty language. Uh, uh, Suzanne Thompson in Reading wants to know if you've got any famous ancestors. No. Not from the Vikings, you mean? Yeah. Have you got any famous ancestors? I don't think so. Um, we got some... We don't know, really. Local we weirdos. <laughs> 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 she, she wouldn't know them. Okay, Lindsay from North Wales. Morton, do you play any uh, instruments? Uh, only when well, we let him. And <laughs> I would have said, <laughs> I would have said yes if I was um, on my own in the studio. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it doesn't take an hour with Paul Max I mean, here. <laughs> I know you've got a guitar. You play guitar, don't you? Or you, you, I, you I play... I, I sort of play no other he holds instruments, it. but I, I, I do. I, I can and I can't. <laughs> what does that mean? It means I'm not brilliant at anything, but I can pick it up. Have you? Have you close to sort of I can, you know. Have you not had an urge though? I mean, since you know the, the band's been together to sort of practice, and is it just something you can't do well? And there are certain things we just hide in the band. <laughs> 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 well, the well hidden secret of Morton's guitar playing. Yeah. Uh, one, one for you, Max. Uh, hang on, there's a question here. Let me just find it. Uh, Dom from Edinburgh wants to know uh, how long you played the keyboards and. Uh, were you classically trained? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was actually forced to play keyboards by Paul. This is the sort of truth. <laughs> Seriously. We, we both played guitar in the band, and uh, and then one had to play keyboards. And don't, rip, rip, rip. <laughs> don't bring back those memories. <laughs> bring, bring back those <laughs> bad memories. No, but I, I, you know, I started quite early. Well, how old was I? About 15, 14, 15. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I was never, I've never been, I tried taking piano lessons. I could only get to like two fingers to working at the same time, so I gave it up. Mm -hmm. But I think, uh, I think we've all, every, all three of us in the band have sort of forced through whatever is our strongest side now. Because mm -hmm. all of us wants to sing. Mm -hmm. And all of us wants to do everything, but I, it's, it's sort of, uh, we've found the different uh, yeah. sort of parts that we've, so it was we, the, uh, we're strongest at ourselves. and, and uh, but with with musical instruments, for instance, so I mean, I've stopped that just singing. Mm -hmm. but basically, what Paul and Max are doing 
everything else. Yeah. You know. So there was a there, there, there was a big ruckus was there. I mean, if he was going to play guitar. <laughs> still is. <laughs> <laughs> I still pick up the old guitar. Look myself, How do you know you see look up in the mirror and go, oh, yeah, this could have been me. Look at this. Yeah. Mm. No, I mean. It's How do you see Max is always grumpy on stage though? <laughs> Just yeah. because Paul has hit him. And, and <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going to like this next question from Rachel Sinfield in Devon. What are your bedrooms like? Paul. <clears throat> Paul's going in my life. Freestyle. <laughs> yeah. I was going to ask you actually. Actually, uh, I just have a, a loft, so there is no bedroom. You there is just one big room. You live in the loft? Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to find his way back to the old studio days when we slept on the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you tidy? Ooh. Well, there's nothing in it, so it's tidy now. I mean, um, no furniture. Hold on, hold on! Shut up, you guys. Because the others are cracking up here. <laughs> oh. Okay, Morton, what's yours like? Derelict. Really? Why derelict? Again, we, we're going back to the old days. Mm -hmm. no, no, the truth is, my... Morton's the most ripped off person in London when he comes to your uh, <laughs> builders. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's I used to like cowboys, but I'm not considered anyone. <laughs> what about you, Meg? Uh, mine is sort of. Japanese style, I would think. <laughs> He's got the most plush. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just, you know, no, it's pop it so much. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So he's got the poshest bedroom. Well, he's he's got his his bed. Well, I, think I he's invest got a lot the same of got the same finish as his grand piano. Mm -hmm. I'm, I invest a lot of my time in my Seriously? bedroom, so I I thought it was a good bad investment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Charlotte Cole in Grimsby. Do you think his songs in Norwegian then translate them into English, or do you actually uh, write yeah, them yeah. thinking? Yeah, we go and then we, we <laughs> whatever. How, how, <laughs> what, what would the English say? <laughs> no, I mean, what would you no, we've, we've been in England for quite a while, so we. Uh, You're actually you thinking English. You think we did that in Norway as well, though. I mean, right from the start, we wrote in English almost right from the start. Yeah, <laughs> some English that was. <laughs> yeah, three words. Yeah, over and over again. <laughs> Okay, let's have another piece of music. This is um, Special AKA. Whee! Go on. No, you go on. You can put it there. <laughs> you go on. AKA and free Nelson Mandela. It's uh, 26 minutes past two, and my guest, Morton Mags and Paul from AHA. Um, got some more questions that we've got to get through here. Uh, apparently, you were in Bristol. You were going to go up uh, in a, a hot air balloon. Is that right? Yeah, we were meant to take part in this race, but uh, the winds were too strong, apparently. We were pushing to get it up, but uh, nobody else wanted to go up with us. Really? So we, uh, well, we had calls uh, from Lisa McManaman in Chesterfield and Sheila Birchill from the West Midlands, uh, and uh, an anonymous fan from Wiltshire, uh, who wanted to know about <laughs> your traditional costume. Because you wore traditional costumes, didn't you? No, it was uh. traditional Norwegian balloonist costumes. What does that involve? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there the was sort a traditional... Stuff, <laughs> the sort of stuff that folds out and becomes a parachute. <laughs> 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 no, what is it? It's pretty old stuff. Actually. Knitted parachutes. Mm. Yeah. You look good. I think so. Have, oh, you, have you ever been hot air ballooning before? Uh, yes, we've, we've been up and down yeah. a couple of times. <laughs> I mean, it's our balloon, so we're planning to do a lot more of it. What made you buy a balloon? It's just, it's just the obvious choice, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I mean, you fly the three of you. Or do you have a, an experienced pilot as well? Oh, well, you have to have a pilot, yeah. or yeah. you have to become one. And uh, I wouldn't trust any of these guys. Would, <laughs> would you go up in the balloon <laughs> with you? <laughs> <laughs> so it's the big one, is it? It's the big one. It's the hot I one. I wouldn't even go in the back. It's, it's, the, hot it's the hot one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's move on to uh, movies now, okay? Because uh, Lynn Horton from Warwickshire, Sarah McCure from Birmingham, uh, want to know about uh, your new film, Morton. <laughs> uh, it's there is no such thing, really, as my new film. I, <laughs> I'm taking part very sort of briefly in a in a family type of children type of film mm -hmm. because I like the people that are doing it and what they're trying to do. And are we going to see a nice, cute little film? <laughs> yeah. Are, are we going to see it in England? That's that's the plan. That's the idea. So uh, within the next ten years, it'll probably <laughs> yeah. be out here as well. W what sort of part do you play? Not the cute one. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I'm. I'm just a part, of, a part of the frame, really, in uh, the film. So I'm a backdrop. I'm yeah, type of side drop. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm a a well-paid. I come in from the city. This is in 1914. Happens in the country. Yeah. And I sort of belong to the city where everything is exciting and new and starting to happen, mm -hmm. with uh, engines, and motorcycles, fly, you know, aircraft and things. And I marry one of the girls on the farm there, uh -huh. and she's. The older sister of 
of the main sort of leading role. You just don't, let it go. Don't give away the ending. <laughs> so that's that's the whole thing is the frame. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next question was what do. Uh, Paul and uh, Mags actually think of the film, but I think... <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, they're just, Paul. I think they're just tired of, of being left out. Oh. 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 Well, I mean, we so hurt. Could, I mean, no, we've been asked about this. It really is a minor thing. Mm. The film is, is, is quite cute. It's mm. uh, quite an interesting in a way, but for us, mm. for the band, it's kind of a... a would, would you ever imagine a, a, you, you, the three of you starring in a film? Would you like there to be an aha film? Well, there are there are sort of loose plans of, of making or having a sort of a, a film project, but I, 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 we're not sure whether we want to star in it or how we want to be involved. But there is sort of a, a plan of mm. making our own thing. Okay, we're, we're postponing it as, as <laughs> much as possible, really. <laughs> Michelle Denise from Coventry says, if you were, uh, you, if you Sorry, could star in any film <coughs> that you, you 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 could, what character would you like to play, Paul? What sort of character would you like to play? Uh, have you seen Roger Rabbit? <laughs> Who killed Roger Rabbit? Oh, is that, that's the uh, one with Donald Duck, isn't it? And, uh, no, no, it's a cartoon thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah with, uh, um, I'll, be, I'll be him, Roger. You'd be Roger Rabbit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Morton? If you could play any part in, you'd like. <coughs> it's not really one of my uh, aspirations, really. So I, I never thought of it. Yeah. It's so like, oh, something interesting, then, you know. Yeah. Then I, I might do it. Max? Well, uh, I'd, I'd like to say in one of my favourite films, but I'm not sure I could pull it off as, you know, half as well as any of my favourites. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I, I don't really, I don't really sort of consider it. Uh -huh. I don't think I would uh, like to be a film star. I don't think I'll ever <laughs> have a chance to be one. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> okay, well, that, that's, that's more or less it. I think we've run right out of time. Ah, oh, shame, yeah. innit? Yeah. Just really? getting into it, yeah. yeah. Listen, thank you for coming in. Thank you for Good luck with right. uh, Japan. Are you going to play that Wendy Lisa single I picked up? Or? Uh, yeah, we'll stick that in in the non-stop half Can't get some, <laughs> We'll get some <laughs> strong women out there. Okay. They're needed. And we'll look forward to seeing you in concert in December. All right, yeah. all right. Thank you very much. Soon it's time we'll have the non-stop half hour. It's now 2.30.